What you got? What I got? Vanity Fair brand, Southern Tea Company, Skull Candy, Expediter. Oh, Skull Candy, isn't that earbuds? Southern yeah. Tea Company, Horizon Group, Pegasus Sports. Ah, lots of fun stuff. Lots of fun stuff for Christmas. Ooh, and fun sounds coming on your ELD. Yeah. And tell us where we are, hon. We're at Walmart DC in Bentonville. Arkansas. Bentonville is also home of Walmart headquarters. Yeah. Right. And there's two Walmart DCs across the street from each other with different numbers. That was interesting. That was confusing. Yeah. And now here we are, not in the Walmart driver lane, but over here with the other plebes. Ooh, you can move up. Let's go. Delivering to a Walmart distribution center, you must submit your transflow paperwork within 24 hours so everyone gets paid. Also, when you bring the paperwork in there, they will put a little sticker on it that shows you've made the delivery, and that sticker is very important to make sure everyone gets paid. Yeah, that's a really good part of the job. Now, where did we pick up this load? Picked up this load, Connolly, Georgia, just on the south side of Atlanta yesterday morning. And it's one of those cross dock distribution centers where it's just like this long, thin warehouse and they just run stuff from one trailer into another one. There's no storage. And uh, they have a big, dirty parking lot full of trailers. So uh, we picked up there. I think that's the third time I've been to that place, right off the, uh, the loop in Atlanta. And last night we drove as far as West Memphis and so today we had a five hour drive to get here to Bentonville. And now we're gonna go, we're just gonna do a drop and hook here, gotta find an empty, and then we're gonna head back down to um, Fort Smith, Arkansas, and pick up a load there. And what a beautiful drive it was. Arkansas is pretty. They still have leaves on the trees and colorful, you know, fall foliage colors and rolling hills now that we're in the Ozarks and lakes and Rivers. Rivers. The pavement was really smooth all day. That's a blessing. There was nobody else at the rest stop. Yeah. <laughs> nobody. That's pretty crazy. There's Crete. <sighs> Very nice. Yeah. I like Arkansas. We should live here. <laughs> we live everywhere, honey. So Kevin just came back and at Walmart you get a sticker that you then have to stick on the paperwork, like right down here for example. Mm -hmm. You have to have that sticker. What is the purpose of the sticker, Kevin? That's like your receipt, that's proof of delivery. And now where are we going? Uh, we're going back here. J.B. Hunt would wake up, finish your nap later. Awesome. Oh, to keep it under three oh, shush, shush. Chomp the lizard. a big parking lot if you can't drive fast, eh? Uh, yeah. Right? I think there's a speed limit. Uh, well, Are you that? keeping it under the speed limit, so It's all about NASCAR, honey, out in this part of the country. Oh. You know? <laughs> Are you practicing career change coming?
get yourself lined up and I'm sure he'll move at some point. Yeah, JB Hunt is definitely going slow. So what just happened, honey? What got you frustrated? It switched over to driving, so I was hoping this little running around the yard here would be our 30 minute break and reset the eight hour clock but it switched to drive so we're gonna have to spend another 30 minutes here but we still got to find an empty trailer <laughs> that, that could take 30 and some minutes sometimes <laughs> and eat a piece of chocolate so that, oh. we could run that into 30 minutes i uh -huh. guess uh -huh. especially the chocolate bad. we already we already lost the first 12 minutes we had since we got here now what made it switch do you know because I drove over 20 miles an hour. Ooh. No, you did not. Look at that. What? What are you pointing at? I like that trailer. Huh? It's all red. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, you've never had one of those. That's the one that says our most...
precious resource sits here. <coughs> Our best freaking driver is right in front of this trailer. Is that what it says? <laughs> Let's see if it's empty. Wow. Our worst paid driver is sitting right in front of this trailer. so beautiful. I could have made such nice videos. There's one over there. Where are we supposed to be looking? Anywhere here? Here and on the other side of that one. Hmm. I don't know. The bar has just been raised. <laughs> I, I only want a red one. It's Christmas time. Okay, Kevin found one. You keep up this pace, you're not gonna get your half hour, honey. <laughs> okay, but it's not red. No. Man. It doesn't say anything about the driver. Mm. That might be a good thing. <laughs> jacket on uh-huh very nice rocking that trucker fashion and now paperwork you put in uh, an empty call meaning you finished the delivery and that includes the bill of lading number the weight and the seal number all the stuff reading what is it four five seven seven oh three and which trailer do we have now 
In your trusty little book. Odometer. So 457,000 miles? Yeah, on this truck right here. A 2019? 2019. Mm -hmm. Oh. What happened? Sounded like you got an electric shock. Gotta start over. What? Yeah. Well, you're really trying to earn your half hour here. I mean, he's watching me. <laughs> You're out of practice, huh? So once you've sent your empty call, then you are officially finished this load, and they'll send you the information for your next load. So I just got four new emails, and I already had the, the pre-plan, so I had some information. Now I got the rest of the load assignment, and different rules for when you go to Owens Corning, no smoking, wear your vest, don't let your wife out of the truck. What? It's the customer's rules. What? Yeah. Oh! I'm wearing my you vest. just ran out of gas. But I'm actually wearing my vest. You are. I could wear it at the next place too. It's lovely. Right? Yeah. Fashion statement. I don't have a fuel solution. Maybe because I got lots of fuel. So, and then I got a get all the information like they'll give me pickup numbers and appointment times and all that and then I have to program in the destination into my GPS's so that I can find my way there and I'll also look at the satellite image of the actual destination so I'm familiar with how I can get in and out so that's what I'm gonna do right now nice okay working your way towards that piece of chocolate I can see <laughs> we got until three o'clock to get there. It's an hour and a half away. Eight five oh seven. And you did very well with your delivery time here. Yeah, we're we're on time here. It was eleven forty nine a.m. and you got here at like eleven twenty. Yeah, just made it barely. <laughs> And but we have, this is a the next one's gonna be a live unload tomorrow morning Ooh. in Tennessee. Mm. That written down. Mm. So all together, four hundred and fifty-seven miles. The next one. Yeah, including the deadhead, which would be seven and a half hours, and we have. half hours of driving we can only drive five today <clears throat> which would take us to six we'll drop and hook almost seven o'clock eastern time and leave us with two hours to go tomorrow right and two hours to go tomorrow it has to be there by nine so we should get going at six mm -hmm. just so we're not late in the Mm -hmm. didn't have any stops. Now how far did we come on this load that we're finishing? We just did uh, 737 miles. Mm. And what was the weight of the load, do you know? 21,158 pounds. Oh. Okay. No smoking at Owens Corning facilities. And we're excited no to see... No electronic vapors, cigarettes. What we're gonna get, because we've been to the Corning Museum in New York State, which was awesome mind-blowing i had to drag kevin there he didn't want to go he's like why do i want to go to a glass museum and then i had to drag him out because it was so interesting and fascinating he didn't want to leave <laughs> so if you have a chance upstate new york actually western new york corning really really interesting so we're interested to see what we're picking up tomorrow because they actually make a lot of different things and now I think we should conclude this video. We hope that you enjoyed uh, c coming with us into this Walmart distribution center in the hotbed of Walmart country. 
in Bentonville, Arkansas. Kevin, can I interrupt your trip planning for a little dance? It's saying with Owens Corning, sometimes the driver is required to move stuff in the trailer back to the tailgate, but no further. Hmm, that's at Owens Corning, you'll pick up your bills at one building and get loaded at another. Uh, Owens will not pay an extra stop for this. <laughs> they have three warehouses in Fort Smith. Let dispatch know if they put product on at two different locations. Well, I'm not getting a live load, so. That's all new and interesting. Maybe we should make a video about that load. But for now, hey, Kevin. Root. Could you do the dance for us, please? Give us a thumbs up if you liked this video and I hope you got something from it. Look at those birds flying. Wait, what, 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 what? It's like a cloud moving. Oh. Oh, they're all going into the tree. It was just like a big swirl. Okay, right in the middle of your dance. And put your comments down below if you like watching birds. <laughs> and hit the subscribe button. What's your favorite bird? Uh, no rude comments. <laughs> okay, with love from Kevin and Tanya. Bye. Read between the lines. <laughs> oh, are you doing shadow puppets? <laughs>